Yes, they will. I'm not sure if this is a, a challenge or they're looking at it on their own. We won't know. What we saw was Solander getting pushed into the goal. That's what I saw. But they're going to look at it here. We'll take a quick break and be back with more 17 or 1425 to play in this uh, first period is one nothing Cornell on top. Confirm no goal. Back here at the Houston Fieldhouse, 14:25 to play first period. Lavisa Solander covered up a puck, and then, from at least from here, it looked like uh, if the puck ever did end up crossing the line, it was it was pushed across. Uh, so, with that in mind, we'll have a face-off in the RPI zone on a covered puck officially. Shots are 5-1 Cornell here. Big Red scored 14 seconds into the game. Kristen O'Neill's 20th goal of the year. Off the draw, it's fed in deep by Maddie Mills, the team's top point getter at 35. Flip towards center, moved back in offside and touched again by Bourbonnet. Neutral zone faceoff coming here. Played back by Zandy Hart. And now Neely. Kendra Neely, sophomore from Chicago, going to play it in. Backhanded off the back of the cage by O'Neill. Flipped to the point, kept in by Neely. Sends it around. Hansen back to get it for RPI. Senior from Copenhagen, Denmark. He'll wrap it near side. A tie up there. Delaney Weiss from behind the goal. Going to leave it there for Severson. Severson stretch pass trying to find Oros just missed her and this will be icing here against RPI it was a good idea to try and spring their top scorer but Oros just couldn't get on the end of that pass. Good vision by Severson it's something we'd like to see more from this RPI club is. They're not going to beat teams into submission RPI by. Possessing the puck in the offensive zone. They're just not built to do it. There's a redirect on goal, stopped uh, by the side of the cage, in fact, and then moved back to the point. But engineers are going to beat teams with their quickness and catching them off guard like they nearly did there as Oros look to break in. Now, Severson's going to throw a little shovel up the wall, trying to get back on it. D to D pass. Weiss for Hansen up the board, skips by everybody. And it'll be tracked down by Facinato. Devon Facinato going to get it up the far side. Tipped in deep there by Sam Burke. Freshman from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Kept it along the near side by Serdan. And now Fries Hansen to the point. Kept alive by Song. Cornell has had the majority of the offensive zone time. There's an interception by Free Sanson. Trying to find Grigsby. That's broken up. Right back to her. Free Sanson works it up the wall. Athena Song now, freshman from Ames, Iowa. Oh, a ton of hockey in Iowa. And it's nice to see when you do see a hockey player come from a lesser known uh, non hockey hotbed like Ames. Here's a Puck play to the point. Wrist shot coming. Saved by Solander. She holds on to this one. That was Bourbonnet. 
If you missed the early stage of this one, it was really a, nothing Solander could do about the goal. It was a bang bang play in front of the net. Cross crease feed and a, a stuff for O'Neill from about a foot, maybe less than that outside the crease. We have an official stoppage here. 12.06 to play first period. 1 nothing Cornell leads here on RPI TV. Face off here and a shot on goal. Salander makes the stop. <laughs> Shots are six to one Cornell. Buck behind the goal, flipped up the wall. Oro's trying to get there, kept in by O'Neill. Goes through Curlew. Collision there, broken up by Hansen. Nice move by Severson. And then she throws it off the skate of Mills and allows the Big Red to shoot it back down. Although this should be icing here. And it will be. 11.43 to go in the first period. Not the start RPI wanted. They trail 1-0. But they've settled down considerably. And haven't allowed a uh, uh, really a second good scoring chance. The first one was a gaping hole in the middle of the defensive coverage but uh, I mean, they've clamped down since then and Slanders made six saves but none of them out of the ordinary especially for her workload expected bouncing puck goes by Hansen all the way to Slander and behind the goal they wave off the icing here Megan Hayes on the move stick handling through center feeds it all the way in it'll be chased after by Fascinato Pachinato to the center ice. Moves around Grigsby. Still well on the move. Centering pass. It is skate. Into the corner it goes. Pachinato back on it to the blue line. Wrist shot. That one blocked by Lance. Second try all the way through and wide. Got it up by Buckley. Back to the point. Pachinato lost the handle. Met by Grigsby. He comes out of the zone. Move back in quickly. On comes Lewis. Fan on the shot, played back to center ice, and now carried along. Two on two, Tremblay walking in. Tremblay, a shot right on, and a save by Boissano. Only the second RPI shot, but a good rush and good pep in the step there for the senior. Allie Tremblay playing in her penultimate home game. Senior out of Hayward, Wisconsin. Now another shot trickles in! <laughs> Tied the game. Oh my, a big goal there. It skipped on in. She didn't even realize it until she took a couple of more strides. A 1 1 game. I think it's right, B's. It, it might have hit a Cornell skate or a stick. Boston knew nothing about it until it was past her. 1 1 game, RPI, and number four, Cornell. Let me get a Hook right off the face off. They're going to get Oros. Boissano heading off, but RPI is going to get a touch here. And so, RPI's celebration on hold here as they go on the kill. I think it's Oros. That's who I saw. Well, they're giving it to Severson. Regardless, it's the first power play of the game for either team, and it belongs to Cornell. They come in at 24 out of 103 on the season, 23.3%. They were two for six last time these two teams met. And uh, if RPI wants any chance in this game, it was on Oros. I was right. There she is.
If the engineers want to resolve in this game, they're going to have to stay out of the box fewer than six times. And this is an early test for RPI's penalty killers. On the season, RPI on the kill, 85.2%, which is pretty good. Setting things up now. Drop pass here. Wrist shot coming. Saves the lander. Poked in front, and Grigsby's going to pick it up on the other side. Trying to clear. That's broken up. Hayes puts some oomph on it and works it all the way down. Halfway through the first period. 1-1. RPI and number four Cornell here. But the Big Red on the power play, moving it in, goes behind the goal. Severson poked it on further, had Mills tied up. And now Mills comes away with it, shoots it off the end boards. O'Neill, got to pay attention to where she is on the ice. Back to Mills, up top now. Burbank, stick handling Zandy Hart out of the far side. Caroms off the wall and kept in. Up top, a drive over the top of the net. That will go out of play. 55 to go on the power play for Cornell. Looked like a harmless shot to, for the engineers. But it found its way in. Tying things up, but immediately on the power play now, Cornell, and there are 50 seconds to go on it. Stick handling up top was uh, Slobosian. Now she works it to the corner. Back to Fascinato. Slobosian. Fascinato shot through traffic. That one might have caught the pad of Solander, but then Grigsby had an opportunity to clear and fanned on it. 30 to go on the power play. Slot. Shot coming. Save Solander. Rebound. Kicked away. Lovisa Solander continues to impress here. 16 to go on the power play. Fascinato back to the point. This time it's intercepted by Grigsby. And she'll make sure this time moving it all the way down the ice. Penalty about to expire. Oros is out of the box. And the engineers are back to even. Big time kill here. Almost as big as scoring was not allowing a goal on that PK. Still 1-1. Shot comes in wide of the goal. Karam's behind. Carried on by Mills. Intercepted. Capel trying to move it out to center. Just forces it out of there. Gathered up that center ice by the Big Red. Snap pass across. Broken up by Hansen, But she can't control. Now on comes Neely. Neely walking in. Her shot is blocked. Point shot coming. That one hit for Ole. And it'll be moved out by Oros on the backhand. Gathered up by Zandy Hart and sent back the other way. Cornell changing. The engineers have it. Hansen ahead. The goal scorer, Wraithby, tips it deep, but she wasn't across the red line and an icing call against RPI. 7.38 to go first period. 1-1 one, one, RPI and Cornell here. Shots uh, favor the Big Red by a 10-4 margin. 10-3, I believe. But two have gone in, one each way. Shot blocked down on the attempt by Bourbonnet. It's funny, the RPI men's team had a player named Riley Bourbonnet. I don't think related. They both wear number 14. Here's Bourbonnet again. That one's blocked. Slot still. Shot coming. Might have gotten a piece of it. Solander on the way through. That was uh, Jirasi. Now back behind the goal. Serdar. Centering pass. Out in front. Just wide. On uh, that snapshot from the slot. That was the defenseman Song pinching in. And now spinning with it. Some room in the slot. A shot. That one deflects over the top. And the engineers are collapsed a little bit too far here. Allowing a little bit of room to work in the top of the zone. Now another wrister. That one might have hit the iron. As RPI is uh, needing some refuel here and Severson trying to provide it. She'll skate it out of the zone. Flips it ahead and she'll run out of gas here and just head off for a change. As Cornell also changing. Six and a half to play in the period. Three big red hit the blue line. Walking in. That one skips wide. Grigsby trying to track it down and now Hansen 
Morgan Andrick for RPI, wrapping it up the boards. Andrick a second try, can't clear it out. Freshetta shot right on, or make it uh, Graham rather with a shot and a save by Salander. 6.07 to go. In period number one, we're tied 1 1, RPI and number four, Cornell. Face off and some room at the top of the zone. A shot and a goal. Micah Zandi Hart was left all alone and she picks out the left side of the net. Beats Solander. Two to one Cornell. The goal for Micah Zandi Hart is her third on the season to go along with 15 assists coming into play today. She and her fellow captain, Christine O'Neill, or Kristen O'Neill, I beg your pardon, have the two goals in this one. For Cornell, two to one is the lead for the visitors. And on they come. It's O'Neill. And they're on side. Just to towing the line was Curlew. Weiss ahead for Grigsby. Gave it away. O'Neill fires it back for Slobosian. Up the wall into the zone. Curlew. Nice scrap just inside the blue line. Now it pops back out to center. We gathered here. Burbank. High in the air. As Cornell will change, Weiss picks it up. Freshman out of Lake Forest, Illinois. Gave it away to Bourbonnet. Now stepping through a check there was Jirasi. Lifted back on out to center, but only Zandi Hart is there, throwing it cross ice into the zone. Burnett can't clear. Andrick can't either, but it's moved along by for Raithby, who picked up her second goal earlier in the period. Back down, stopped up by Boissano. Shot in on goal, steered away. Hansen. And now all the way down it goes. Right back now, and this is going to be icing on Cornell. On for Capel. Michaela Capel into the zone. She'll shoot it off the end boards. 
And now carried through center ice. Bourbonnet makes a nice move. It's poked away in the end by Faroli, who is in good defensive position. And now Hansen for Lance. She's bottled up. Uh, pops back to Hansen. She'll throw it off the end walls neatly for Faroli. Good connection, Severson on for Grigsby. That's broken up right back to Severson. Makes a move, goes down, still flips it into the zone. Picked up by Fascinato. To the RPI zone it goes. Hayes has it now. Tipped in deep nicely by Lance, and RPI will chase. Uh, now back come the big red shot in saved by Salander standing up another shot goes wide on the attempt by Curlew. This game remains a one goal game thanks to that stop by Lavisa Salander sent back across up top now fed in by Song intercepted and moved out by Schwalbe. Schwalbe shoots it in deep wide of the goal caroms off the end wall and goes behind the cage. Zandy Hart with it. Let's Sirdar play. And now moved on further. Pass goes through Song. She spills to the ice. As we approach two minutes to go in the first period. Bouncing puck. It, uh, Andre trying to play. Sent to the point. Wrist shot in. Deflected and they score. Pippi Jurassi with a nice redirect, the senior from Jamestown. Just south of Buffalo there with a goal. They're seventh on the year. And it's three to one. Behind the cage, carried out by Cornell. Here they come. Slobosian going to shoot it all the way down, and this will be icing here against the Big Red. there between O'Neill and Schwalbe seem like both were equally at fault so they play on sent cross ice by Slobosian Schwalbe feeds it in deep under a minute left in the period and puck was <laughs> kind of stuck to Boissano she nearly carried it back out in front of the goal with her via her skates Luckily for her in the big ride, it didn't go near the uh, the net front. Fascinato. Near side, now Graham. On comes Burke, centering pass. And I'll moved out through center ice. Hansen back to pick it up for the engineers. Rung around and now here's Capel lifting it in the air, falling down. Was Neely and now back comes Cornell. Graham into the zone, pulls it back, feeds it wide along the ice. Jirasi gave it away. Two and one, that'll do it for the period. Cornell scores 14 seconds in. The engineers do manage to tie it up. But two goals later on for the Big Red. Make it a three to one game. After one, we're back with his second period in 15 minutes here on RPI TV.
Second period, here we go. Three to one. Cornell on top. A quick shot and a save by Lavisa into the corner. It'll be kept in by O'Neill. Played by Weiss into the corner. Mills. Grigsby. Turning. Has it pinned up now. And now played. Across Mills. Shot coming. Save made. Slander again and swept on out. This should be icing here. And we get a whistle. First period goals from uh, Cornell by Kristen O'Neill, Micah Zandi Hart, and Pippi Jirasi. Amy Wraith be the lone RPI tally currently, although might be changed to Tremblay. She may have touched the puck. We'll have to find out about that. But right now it's Wraithby's. Next goal, a crucial one. And it, obviously, this one feels like Cornell has it in hand, but if the engineers can get one, who knows? Here comes Schwalbe. Shot in. Save made. Loose puck. Going to be smothered by Boissano. The engineers haven't had too many attacking opportunities, but the few times they have entered the zone with speed, they've looked pretty dangerous. That time it was the senior Schwalbe out of Anchorage, Alaska. Took that shot, and Boston did a pretty good job smothering things, but the initial rebound had a few folks jumping. Here's a backhand shot that goes wide off the stick of Sirdar. And now on comes Oros. Plays it into the zone. Now a two on one. Oros, a shot and a save. Gloved down by Oros and moves it behind the goal. Cycling. He's trying to find Severson, but it's pried away. Now intercepted at center ice by Oros. She gets hit. Penalty coming. It's going to be a body check on Jirasi. And RPI is going to go on its first power play. Minute and a half to go on the RPI power play. Handsome, a little drop pass here. Sent along for Grigsby. That's broken up. And now moved up ice. Short handed, it's O'Neill. Centering feed goes all the way through, trying to knock it out of the air. That was Zandy Hart, the defenseman. And now. Hansen ahead. Capel pushes it up the wall. Severson with a nice move. Severson in. Waiting at the point. Kind of peels off there. She's given some space. Oros. Up top, Burnett. Wrist shot coming. That's blocked down. Bouncing puck. Grigsby. Back to Burnett. Sent across. Poke check out of the zone. And Grigsby tried to make a little bit too difficult of a pass there. And Kind of telegraphed it as well. 33 to go on the power play. Shot in here. And another clearing effort all the way down. 18 to go on the power play.
Schwalbe try to go cross sites with him. That's broken up. Now a chance for a two on one inside. A good poke there by Faroli. Just pestered uh, O'Neill enough not to get that shot away. Penalty's over. Uh, it's fed back in. Shot coming, saved by Salander, and she holds on to that. Three to one is the Cornell lead. 16.07 to go in the second. Shots are 3 2 Cornell here, 4 2 Cornell, excuse me, here in the period. Back to the point. Zandy Hart in front. Save made on a point blank try. Freeze Hansen is all tied up there with Curlew. Puck back to the Cornell end. Here they come. Played through Curlew. Back to pick it up is Weiss. Delaney Weiss for RPI takes a look, uses the near boards. On for Wraithby, who shoots it on further. Zandy Hart, or make it uh, Fashionado rather. Feeds it down ice. It was touched here. It's no icing. Hits the back of the net in the end as it hit a spot along the wall. Pressured as Hansen. She lost it. Behind the goal, looking for a centering feed, goes through everybody. Hansen going to shoot it up the near wall, past Oros. Fed back in by Neely. And there's a player down on the ice. It's Hansen. Slow to her feet, and the engineers can't afford to lose. One of their toughest players that the program has seen. Certainly in recent memory, Josephine Hansen being helped back to the bench by Faroli. One of the assistant captains, Hansen, from Copenhagen, Denmark, which played at Shattuck St. Mary. And she eats up a lot of minutes on the blue line. Now a stretch pass looking for Oros. Tough collision there with Slobosian, but that was more Oros reaching for the puck than anything else. Now a wrist shot that goes just wide off the stick of Bourbonnet. One handed to center by Severson, makes a move, throws it off the wall. Capel pokes it into the zone. Bourbonnet goes D to D, finding Willow Slobosian. Turning with it, Lance. Nice move. Aaliyah Lance, freshman from Edina, went to Edina High School. Played it back here with Burnett. Back to the near side. Hayes poking at it. RPI hoping to get Hansen back as quickly as possible, but without her, they're playing uh, down the defense uh, uh, defender here. Weiss into the skates of Schwalbe, just lifts it out to center. Trombley trying to get over the wall. Not in time. As it's gathered up again by RPI. 14 to go, under 14 left in the second. 3 1 is the Cornell lead. Frechette had it for a moment. Now moved in, cross ice feed, looking for the return for O'Neill and Mills. If she had a second chance there, maybe would have shot that puck. But in the end, it goes by the wayside, and the engineers move it in. Schwalbe going to chase. RPI going to get a partial change behind her. Played behind the goal for Bourbonnet. Junior from Mississauga, Ontario. A good stretch pass here. And poked home. Curlew. And Salander not happy with herself there. It was kind of an in-between play. All Curlew really could do was throw her stick at it. And Salander was in between, I think, coming out and staying home. And ended up getting beat on a shot five hole. Shot comes in and a glove save on Andrik. And 
we get a media stoppage here. 13 09 to play in the second. It's now 4 1 Cornell. Face off in the Cornell zone. It's tied up along the walls. Wraithby is going to move it around. Slobosian for the big red. Lifted on out to center. Jirasi had a nice tip for the, I believe it was the third Cornell goal. Now a tight angle shot and she scores. What a snipe there. My goodness, Bourbonnet. From no angle goes top shelf. And it looks like we're going to see a goaltender change. Kira Bombay will enter for RPI. And not the night for Salander. She's not happy with herself either. That one I don't know if anyone does anything about, but the previous shot I'm sure she wants back. 12.47 to go in the second. Goalie change. Thank you. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. So Kira Bombay in there for RPI. As the centering pass comes in, she's making her sixth appearance of the year. Tremendous numbers for Bombay, who did earn the uh, ECAC Hockey Goaltender of the Week, beating Brown and Yale earlier this season. And she gets the first touch of the puck and has a shot from the outside, held on to. Life of a backup goalie is never easy, and the senior Bombay is in there now from uh, Orleans, Ontario. Full numbers on her five games. She's 2 1 0. With a 160 goals against average and a 951 save percentage. And on a number of other teams, you can almost safely say half the teams in the country should be, they should have a crack at a number one spot, but. And you have the all time saves leader and a goalie uh, with a 940 save percentage. Like the engineers do, it's hard to move away from LaVisa Solander, but on this night, it was not LaVisa's. 5 1 Cornell, centering pass, intercepted on the way through by Grigsby. She'll skate it to center. Made a move, picked up Schwalbe. And now Grigsby picks it up at neutral ice, feeds it back through past days. Goal for Bourbonnet as there's a shot deflected up into the netting off the stick of Sirdar. Goal for Bourbonnet is her ninth of the year. At 7.13 of the second, two goals in the period for Cornell, one by Curlew, one by Bourbonnet. Have the number four team in the country up 5 1. Back to the point. It's kicked at by Weiss. Can't control. Andrik can. And plays it past Hicks and gathered up by Slobosian. For whatever reason, the engineers do not match up well with Cornell. I think this is the best team in the league. Just from what I've seen from the Big Red, I've seen seen them play at least parts of a half dozen games this year. They look like the real deal. I was surprised to find that they weren't already in first place. Puck 
goes trickling in on goal swatted at by Marlene Boissano. Out it goes for Shat behind the cage. There's a tie up there. Picked away by Severson and now moved out to center ice. Capel looking around. It was right in front of her. Cornell behind in the standings. Second place by a point to Princeton. As that one's off the pipe and in. Six to one Cornell. It was Grace Graham who got the goal. Either way, nothing Bombay could do about that. You can hear it ring off the pipe and in. Looks like we'll have a new first place team in the league as Clarkson is all over Princeton right now, 3-0. There's a shot in the save by Bombay, sticked away. Poke behind the goal by Neely. And now Schwalbe. Lance. On for Grigsby. This one goes wide of the cage. Fashionado. Her pass hit a leg. Turned around and sent in. Grigsby turning and shooting. And a save by Boston. She'll hold on to it here. Gillis for Shet with the secondary assist on that one. And we got official timeout, 9.13 to go. 6 1 Cornell. Kayla Capel at center. Trying to play it on further. Carried on by Weiss. It hit Oros. And now it's back out to neutral. Well, this will be gathered up by Burke. As they're going to see probably more of the third and fourth line from Cornell. We haven't seen a whole lot of it so far, but there's Sam Burke now, the 5'10 freshman. Walking in, a shot and a goal. Nice move. By Sirdar. And she tallies. That'll make it 7 to 1. Just wrapped it right around Bombay. Eight and a half to go in the second. Having flashbacks to when the Hillary Knight led uh, Wisconsin powerhouse came here a number of years ago. I think they put up nine on the engineers back then. Could be wrong. Might be thinking of a game at Cole Center. Anyway, 7 1 Cornell here. Under eight to go in the second. We have a puck out of play and a stoppage. Seven, Cornell calls the score by number 17, Micah Sergar. Assisted by number 10, Sam Burke. 
Bouncing puck wide at the RPI cage, played by Burnett. Wisconsin came here on October 1st, 2010, and won 7-0, then 6-0 the next night. Those were the games I was thinking of. That team had well, Brianna Decker with three assists. Megan Duggan is on that team. Hillary Knight, a goal. So that wasn't even all of it. Carolyn Prevost as well. That was some team that the Badgers had in here back in 2010 for that sweep. When I saw seven, my brain just went there. Here's a shot in wide of the goal off the stick of Buckley. Wrapped around. Here's uh, Slobosian pinching. Oros way out in front of Grigsby. Gathered up by Fashionado. Fashionado turning. Gets it on the return feed from Graham. And now Gillis for shot stolen away. Grigsby trying to walk in. She'll take a shot and the save is made up high. On Boissonneau. Now fed through out to center it goes. In deep now. Song. Center ice connection broken up by Capel, played by Lance. Aliyah Lance for RPI flutters it in from the outside, and Boston is going to hold on. No score in Ithaca, where the engineers and number nine men's Big Red are underway. And we get an immediate timeout here. Looks like 5:49 left. We'll take a break. Seven to one, Cornell. Face-off win for the Engineers. Capel trying to latch on to one, but couldn't corral. And now back out to center comes Cornell. Phelps uh, moves it across the line, but it's quickly carried back the other way. Aaliyah Lance going to shoot it in. She goes into the corner with Zandi Hart. And it'll be moved along. Poked at by Schwalbe. Fed on further. For a shot in deep, and that'll wrap past Bombay. Allie Tremblay trying to chase it down. It's played along by Jirasi. Tipped in deep and wide a goal. Burnett for RPI. Uh, Feroli in the air. That's played with a high stick. Oh, a hand pass. Whichever you like. Neely worked on uh, Grigsby tripped over the blue line and that's going to get a well <laughs> still offside I guess Lions been on the near side it was Ryan Turner he arm went down arm went up arm went down finally blew it offside 
On the engineers. Neutralized draw, one by the Big Red. Didn't get a chance to tell you that uh, Lavisa Solander was named top 10 finalist for the uh, Patty Kazmaier as the taking a high stick there was Iwanski. She stays on the play and then Oros lifting up the wall. That's broken up at the blue line and sent back the other way by Song. Anyway, Solander, first ever RPI player to earn top 10 Penny Kazmaier distinction. It's the women's hockey equivalent of the Hobie Baker Award. And they announced that, uh, that they also have a, a Hobie hat trick for the Patty Kazmaier, which will be uh, announced in March. But uh, certainly well deserved recognition for Solander, despite what's happened here tonight. She's been the backbone of this team for her career here so far. and culminating with a great senior year. Good cross ice feed for Capel. She'll chip it in. Try and chase after it. Played by O'Neill up the wall. Waiting for it there was Mills. And doesn't look like a whole lot but certainly a talented five foot four winger Matty Mills. Thirty five points coming in to play. Leads the team. There's been some stars under the 5 6 uh, height. Mills is one of them. Certainly turning into one, a sophomore. 68 career points already for her. And she does have a couple assists tonight. So give her 70 career points. Yeah, we get a whistle here and an offside. 2.27 to play second period. 7 to 1 is the Cornell lead. They have four goals here in the second. The first two chased Lavisa Solander from this game. She's sitting on the bench with 16 stops. Kira Bombay has stopped two of the four shots she has faced so far. And you don't like to see what happened to Solander, of course, but here. With senior day tomorrow, it's a little bit fitting that Kira Bombay gets some ice time. No, not the way the engineers would have liked it. They would have liked to have been up seven to one and put Bombay in. Onside now, Grigsby walking in, a shot right on, and a save made by Wassano. Grigsby, another one of those seniors for the engineers. They'll be honored tomorrow. Whitby, Ontario, 52 career points for Jamie Grigsby. 25 goals, 27 assists. She caught the injury bug earlier this year. It's good to see her back out there. RPI still without Sabrina Apache. We've had to deal with injuries throughout this season. Sent in off the wall. Corralled there by Sirdar. Now Burnett. Pestered by Lewis. Schwalbe thought about going behind the goal. Now she'll try the far side. Capel. Takes a look. Finds Weiss through her skates. A coming together of sticks along the boards in front of the RPI bench with Song. And now it's lobbed in. Boissano going to help it aside with a stick. Neely. For Cornell, minute to go in the second period. Fed in, deadened behind the goal. Iwanski's going to pick it up there. And the junior blue liner from Marquette, Michigan, going to clear it near side, but not out of the zone. Kept alive by Slobosian. Now a shot from the circle held on to by Bombay, and she'll get a whistle. Shot came in from Buckley.
Forty five to go in the period. Seven to one this one. In hand for Cornell looking to go atop the standings. In ECAC hockey with a game to go. As of a, <laughs> what might have been a penalty in a tighter game here isn't one. Now Oro's trying to break away and it's broken up by Bourbonet. Trying to squeak through the two defenders was Oro's. Didn't quite work out for. Her. Slobosian all the way around broken up by Grigsby good to see Hansen back out there motoring around and there she is Hansen on the move trying to go coast to coast Hansen poked away and that'll do it for the period Cornell scores four times in the second on only 11 shots and they lead seven to one. After two, we'll be back with the third period in just a bit. You're watching RPI Women's Hockey on RPI TV.
Third period underway. And Lawrence Severson going to move it in. First, uh, third period under a minute old here. It's shot back to center. Is Neely going to move it in? Kira Bombay steers it to the corner, picked up by Burnett. Throws it through the middle, hit off of uh, one of the Cornell sticks, and it'll be gathered up by Neely. Over in Ithaca, they're nearing the end of the uh, first period RPI in Cornell on the men's side. It's two to one RPI. Engineers have goals from Whiffen, uh, Brady Whiffen, and uh, Nick Bowman. Facinato moves it in, and it comes in from the point on the far side. That was the uh, Slobosian held into by Bombay. Here's Bourbonnet at the point. Fires a shot, hit a leg on the way through. I think it caught uh, Gillis Frechette there. Captain at the point by Song. Moved along behind. Graham. Now Nolan. Nice zip on the feed for Tremblay. Allie said the shot did not hit her, so it's going to be a goal for Wraithby. It was initially Wraithby's, and it remains. Oros pinning the puck up in the corner. Three minutes into the third period. Cornell up 7-1. to one. Centering pass. Puck's underneath. Bourbonnet kept in at the point by Grigsby. Now a tight angle shot knocked down. And it'll be covered up by Boissano. Draw coming up in the big red end. Shots are 28-12 Cornell. And uh, Lavisa Salander's quest for 4,000 saves is Cut short abruptly here in this one. She was pulled after making just 16 stops, leaving her 37 saves away, which is certainly doable still tomorrow, of course. And then on to postseason play for the engineers who did qualify last weekend by beating Princeton. They headed to the playoffs and a team they'd like to avoid is this one. And to do so they'll most likely have to finish seventh or better so RPI fans will be sure scoreboard watching as to see where the engineers hold off. There's a big old log jam between where RPI sits fifth entering play all the way down through eighth place and Certainly a tough weekend for the engineers with two top team, uh, two top ten teams coming in. Now a centering pass, Freese Hansen. Looked like no one was ready for that feed. And it was eventually cleared out by Cornell. Turned around by Freese Hansen here. Moves it in deep.
RPI on 21 points as is St. Lawrence Harvard and Quinnipiac are on 20. Now Harvard last uh, we checked was losing so that could be an interesting they're losing to Brown. That could be an interesting uh, situation now they're tied 3 3. RPI certainly rooting for the Bears for an upset there. Because Harvard holds the tiebreaker over the engineers. So RPI needs to beat Harvard in, in, in points. If they end up even, the Crimson will have the advantage. But uh, a win for Brown tonight would go a long way into helping the engineers. Of course, they need a win tomorrow as well. With the. Uh, Harvard with uh, excuse me with Harvard taking on Yale another team that Harvard should in theory beat but nothing is given 14 20 to play here race for the puck Burnett goes into the corner with Frechette and Iwanski doing a nice job to muscle that puck away poke to the corner Gray. Quinnipiac is also leading St. Lawrence, so we knew one of those teams had to lose, of course, or, or tie, but uh, they weren't both going to overtake RPI on this night. RPI split the season series with those two teams. Shot and a goal. Spinning shot there. Gillis for a shot. Her second goal of the game. She came in with just one goal on the year. One Cornell. Kicked at by Nolan. Move behind and around. Sam Nolan back to the point. Snapshot in, broken up on the try by Capel, who had taken Nolan's spot at the blue line. Jirasi had it for a moment. Now we get a whistle and a penalty. We get a slash here. Someone's stick got knocked out of their hand. And RPI is going the power play for the second time. They're 0 for 1. In fact, both teams are. Hansen into the skates of Grigsby gets it back. Hansen redirection one. Soros no. Second try. Severson came flying in and didn't catch the puck there. Now played to the point. Well, that's broken up. Behind the cage, Bombay is going to help it to the corner. <laughs> Minute to go in the power play for RPI. All pinned up in the corner. Now wrapped around to the far side. <laughs> 
finally worked out Lance to the point Burnett for rolling steps into a slap shot that goes wide hits off the glass behind the cage six to go in the power play Schwalbe sends it across for Feroli shoots again and that one flutters just wide penalties over and the puck goes out of play 10 51 to play third period 8 1 Cornell men's hockey update there at the end of the first period at liner rank two to one RPI leads number nine Cornell on the men's side. Shots are 30 to 13 Cornell. zone draw out of the timeout. Big Red have it. Urbanite to the far side and in deep. Hanson, or make it the uh, Hayes rather. And we got delayed offside. Maddie Mills stayed on the chase, and that was uh, to the dismay of the officials who ended up blowing the whistle. Trickled wide of the net. Weiss sends it around. Oro's chopping, but not out of the zone. Gathered up by Burke. Net front shot coming, saved by Bombay. Loose in the crease, and we got a penalty. Is well, the big red just got cleared out. That was uh, Finley for Shed, sophomore from Weston, Mass, and. We have an RPI penalty coming up here because Blake Oros just ran right through her. RPI penalty number 10, Blake Oros. Two minutes, four points. Time up for penalty, nine minutes, 48. Second power play for Cornell. They're 0 for 1. Blake Oros, two minutes, four body check at 9 48. And on it goes out to center ice. Quinnipiac and St. Lawrence now tied 2-2. Harvard and Brown tied 2-2. In two games of interest for the engineers. Team six, seven, and eight in action there. It's hard to say what the engineers want. Ties don't necessarily help or hurt. They certainly like a Brown win. They're tied 3 3 right now with Harvard. A lot will also ride on tomorrow afternoon's game against Colgate, a team that beat RPI 4 0 earlier, as that would could have been a trip. On Schwalbe. Zandy Hart for Cornell, slowing things down in no hurry here, up 8 1, and with 37, uh, 35 seconds to go on the power play. Zandy Hart across for Mills. Mills into the zone. Walking right in. Mills pulls it back, tried to go up top on Bombay, and the puck pops to the near side. Back to the point. Zandy Hart. Bourbonnet holding. 
Off for Mills. Mills. Urbanay now Zandy Hart circles centering pass all the way through. Mills gets wrapped up by Grigsby. Five to go in the power play. Slap shot and that one not exactly where Zandy Hart wanted at the pass. And it comes free. Now breaking to center is Oro. She's on side and chasing. In deep all by herself. She's pinned up in the corner. RPI two for two on the kill tonight. Under eight to go now in the third. Changes made. Freeze Hansen in to help out, but it's Bourbonnet who comes away with it. Fed up the boards, played by Weiss right back. Stolen away by Lance. She lost it. Carried on further and moved in by Finley for shot. Weiss back behind the goal for Feroli. She's pressured, zings it near side for Lance. Lance up the boards, out to center. Played by Neely back in. Bombay back to slow it up, where it's gathered in by Feroli. High in the air to center off the glove and played nicely by Gillis for Shen. Now a point shot coming. Hit a stick. Rebound. And a save by Bombay. And then she gets wiped out. Then Faroli just decks for Shet. <laughs> because she didn't like how I think how for Shet went sliding into Bombay. Nothing comes of that. Shots are 35 13, Cornell. They lead 8 1. Scoring has uh, been relatively spread out. Gillis Rochette has two goals and an assist. Kristen O'Neill, who had a hat trick last time these two teams met, a goal and two assists. Amy Curlew has a goal and an assist, as does Pippi Jirasi. Maddie Mills, a couple assists. Everybody else with uh, single points out there. Kendra Neely, one assist, but she's a plus four. RPI's goal was scored by Amy Raithby, assist to Morgan Andrick off a of faceoff. Kira Bombay has made 11 saves. She's given up three goals. Bombay gave up five on 19 shots, 16 stops there. Off the faceoff, moving in, Song takes a shot, blocked down. Nolan moves it ahead, kept in the zone, thrown in off of uh, Hansen will be covered up by Bombay. Seven minutes to play third period. We have another faceoff coming here in the RPI end of the ice. Clarkson continues to lead Princeton three to one. Which would send Cornell into first with, Cor with Clarkson right on their tail. Other two games of note are tied still. Neely. Going to shoot this one in. Bombay back to slow it up. Engineers entered play tonight in fifth place. That puck comes in. Centering feed. Looking for Phelps on the back door. That didn't work out. RPI scoring its 30th league goal tonight. The fewest goals in ECAC hockey play in the modern era as a shot comes in blocked down uh, by a playoff team is 31. RPI trying to not set that record. There's a shot hit the iron. Dewanski takes a look, throws it into the skates of uh, Facinato. Let me gather it up there. But really, can really be more a testament to Salander's play than anything else. RPI's low scoring output, just about 1.3 goals a game for the Engineers. Yet they're 
in just about every game due to their goaltending. And you have to give credit to the team defensively. You can see what the difference makes when you have you know, good coverage of your defensive zone and, and not. This is one of the examples of the not. As RPI has it, you can go back to last Saturday against Princeton. Sure, the Tigers got 50 some odd shots, but if Slender's not forced to make more than three or four you know, stops you're not supposed to make, you can go a long way into helping your goalie out. You know, Tonight was not one of those nights, but RPI certainly can play. That's just about any team in this league, thanks to LaVisa. Orzakowski for the Engineers. Takes a look up by he's trying to find Oros. Broken up by Facinato. Kicked at by Oros. Now she'll skate it through center with Severson. Severson shoots it in. Around behind it goes. Played by Neely. She's tied up there by Oros. Under four minutes to play in the third period. 8-1 Cornell. Big Red have just one goal here in this period. Three in the first, four in the second. Certainly the most lopsided defeat of the year for RPI here. Lost RPI's uh, biggest loss, I think, since they lost 10 0 to Clarkson on the road back in 2011 12. There's a shot on, save, they score! Great save. Well, cancel that. It's now a six goal game as Jamie Grigsby picks up goal number six on the year. Right on the doorstep, she claims the rebound and sticks it home. bit of a consolation there for the senior here playing in her second to last home contest here as Schwalbe's going to shoot this one in. Puck goes behind the goal. Nice keep there by Iwanski. Schwalbe. The second RBI goal. Sixth of the season score, number six, Jamie Grigsby. Sent through the middle of the ice and moved out to by Gillis Rochette. She's now tied up by Iwanski. Taken over by Jurassi around to the far side. Now Hansen works it up the wall for Tremblay. Tremblay with some speed ends up flipping it wide of the cage. Sent through the middle of the ice. Andrik Corrales taken over by Frischette and now moved on further by Finley Frischette. Over the top of the net to the corner. Up the boards. Carried on by Tremblay. She'll fire it in off the sideboard. Rafe trying to get there. Meets with Neely. Andrik lost it. Trying to get it back. Fed up the wall. All the way to the point. Hicks turns it around momentarily. Now, uh, nearly a, uh, a poor change costing the engineers there, but it comes right to Hayes. And now Wraithby lost an edge and fell down. Faroli back to pick it up. Or Zikowski. And we get a whistle here and a penalty. It's going to be a slash. And it's going to go on Sam Burke. Freshman out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Hey, 
or Hansen rather. Third power play try for RPI. Oro's down low. Quick shot and a blocker save held on to by Boston. Minute 15 in the game, so this power play will uh, wrap things up. Barring, of course, a third RPI tally. Why not? Hansen, wrist shot, blocked down. Severson back to Hansen, and now Grigsby, who got RPI's second goal. She takes a shot and a good pad save by Boissonneau. One minute remaining in the third period. One minute. Hansen, Severson. Hansen, one timer, that one goes wide. Might have been blocked in the end by Buckley. Severson, she'll step into one right on. Rebound, and Capella was turned away. That shot blocked and sent down the ice. 34 to go. Stopped there by Bombay. And it'll be Faroli to start things out. 20 seconds to go. Now they come. 15 to play. Pass too far for Schwalbe. Sent back down the ice. Bombay back to stop it. Six seconds to go. Broken up there. And that'll do it. As Swalby flips that puck into the crowd. This one's over 8 2, the final. Shots were 36 17, Cornell. As RPI will wrap up its regular season tomorrow against number 9, Colgate, here tomorrow. Harvard and Brown tied 3 3 when we leave you here. Quinnipiac and St. Lawrence headed to overtime. 2 2. RPI's postseason destination yet to be determined. We'll find out tomorrow. You can watch that one, of course, live here at 3 o'clock on RPI TV. I want to thank all of you for watching. My name is Perry Lascaris. All the crew here. I want to thank you for watching as well. Final score here was number four, Cornell 8 in RPI 2. You've been watching live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy.